Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's do an example of how to divide one complex number by another when they are in polar form. And remember the equation that we found on the previous video was if we divide z1 by z2 that is equal to the ratio of the moduli which is r1 divided by r2 times the cosine of theta1 minus theta2 plus i times the sine of theta1 minus theta2. In other words, we subtract the argument from the first one and we take the quotient of the moduli. So let's go ahead and now plug in what we have and obviously we've already converted from the normal a plus bi format into the polar format like we did in the previous videos and now we can just simply plug this in. So this is equal to r1 which is the square root of 2 divided by r2 which is 2 times the cosine of theta1 which is a minus pi over 4 minus theta2 which would be pi over 6 plus i times the sine and we're going to get the same argument here that would be minus pi over 4 minus pi over 6. Now let's simplify this and see what this then looks like in its final form the square root of 2 over 2 times. So minus pi over 4 minus pi over 6, common denominator is 12, that's minus 3 minus 1, that's minus 4 over 12, or hmm, let's see here, minus 4 over 12, which is minus 1 over 3, right? That's one third. So this becomes the cosine of minus pi over 3, and plus i times the sine, also of minus pi over 3. Now we can get rid of the negative sign because the cosine of a negative angle is the same as the cosine of a positive angle and here we can bring this negative over here because the sine of a negative angle is the negative of the sine of the positive angle. So this can be written as the square root of 2 over 2 times the cosine of a positive pi over 3 minus i times the sine of pi over 3 and that would then be a good final format of the quotient of those two complex numbers and that's how it's done and again it's fairly easy once you have it in the polar form